In this presentation, you will see how you can integrate the audio library into your own projects. I will first describe why I wanted to make the audio library, and I will show you how you can get the source code for the audio library and build it yourself. I will also show you how you can integrate the audio library into your own projects and how to use the audio library for playing sound effects for your game. I built the audio library as a minimalistic audio library for use in simple game frameworks that are used for making 2D games. When making a simple 2D game, you often don't need bloated audio library like OpenAL. Usually you just want to load a sound effect or background music and play it at the right time. Other game frameworks like SFML or SDL2 provide an audio library, but it is often difficult to use the audio subsystem from these libraries without pulling in other dependencies. The audio library is designed to be simple to use, but at the same time provide a sufficient amount of functionality to be usable in both 2D and 3D games. The audio library is just a C++ wrapper for the mini audio library, and the audio library provides a simple interface than mini audio does. To get access to the audio library, clone the GitHub repo to your local computer using either your favorite Git client or use the command shown on the bottom of the slide to clone the repo to your local computer. You can use CMake GUI to generate the solution and project files for the build toolchain you are using. The image shown on the slide is using Visual Studio 2022 preset to generate a solution and project files for Visual Studio 2022. Optionally, you can use the command line to generate the build files for whatever toolchain CMake detects on your system. The command shown on the bottom of the slide should be run from the root folder of the audio repository. The build files are placed in a folder called build. Optionally, you can use the provided generate project files batch file in the project root to generate the Visual Studio solution and project files for you. To actually build the library, open the generated Visual Studio solution file and select build build solution from the main menu. If everything goes OK, you should be able to run the example project in Visual Studio to test if it is working. The library files should be placed in the lib folder and the binary files should be placed in the bin folder in the root of the repository. You should be aware that the library files generated with your version of Visual Studio may not work with other versions of Visual Studio and should not be committed to version control. To integrate the audio library into your own project, copy the ink and lib folders to your project. Generally, I keep external libraries in a folder called extern, as shown in the screenshot on this slide. You need to configure the compiler so it can find the header files for the audio library. Add the path to the ink folder you copied in the previous step to the additional include directories in your project's properties. You also need to tell the linker where to find the audio.lib file. Add the location of the library folder you copied in the previous step to the additional library directory setting in your project's property settings. The value of the configuration variable in the path will resolve to debug when compiling in debug mode and release when compiling in release mode. You also need to specify the name of the library file to link against in the additional dependency settings in your project's properties. Use audio.lib for the release configuration and audio underscore d.lib in the debug configuration. The source code shown here provides an example of using the audio library. A coin sound effect is loaded from coin.wave. The sound effect is set to looping using the set looping function, and then the sound effect is played using the play function. The sound effect will keep playing until it is stopped using the stop function. Sound effects that are not looping will stop automatically when they have finished playing. If you have any questions about using this audio library, please don't hesitate to join our Discord server using the link shown on the slide. Thanks for watching.